1956, after years of insomnia, after years of anxiety, I embarked upon an odyssey. Dorian Paskowitz is a 58-year-old doctor who one day decided to give it all up and spend the rest of his life traveling with his family in a tiny camper from one wave to another. He wanted us to be unchained to a mortgage at a moment's notice, just get in and go. We'd wake up one morning and would be in Pensacola. Wake up another morning, we'd be in Corpus Christi, San Francisco, Baja, Florida, Venezuela, New Mexico, Alabama. El Paso. We just spur the moment, go wherever. Open the camper door, go out and do your thing, lunch is at noon. We were not attached to the physical world at all. In some little town in Louisiana, we pulled over into the state park and he says, guys, there it is, we're down to our last dime. And he was excited. For 10 years, I was either pregnant or breastfeeding without one day off. When you have nine children living in a 24-foot camper, you have these flare-ups. Eat healthy, live clean, serve clean. Dorian had us in such a tight diet. We couldn't have refined sugar. We couldn't have white bread. He fed us branches for breakfast. I wasn't some kind of radical. He used to play Chairman Mao's wake-up song to the nation every single morning. They go to a school I consider enormously demanding. I demand that they serve and be good at it. We would confront him on a daily basis. I want to go to high school. We did everything the hard way. If it was easy, then something was wrong. They're lazy. He's a dictator. He was Fidel. I swore I'd never serve again, ever. Your parents said, you can go to school because it's safe, but don't go swimming with sharks because it's dangerous. Our parents said, you can go swimming with sharks, but you don't have to go to school because that is dangerous. Nobody would ever believe the experiences my brothers and I had together. I wouldn't change that for anything in the world. The good outweighed the bad. It was almost like a dream. Everyone's trying to get that spiritual moment of perfection. We had it. We lived it. I intend to put my kids through what my dad put me through. I'm going to keep the dream alive. Wisdom you get from experience, and that is what my children had a lot of.